Let's make a bed together for our brand new, much bigger garden. Starting fresh is always exciting, but finding good soil can be very hard. In our case, we are working with loamy soil. That's a good start because loamy soil has the right texture for growing vegetables. It's not too sandy, not too sticky like clay, and it holds moisture well while still draining excess water. But the problem is that this soil has no nutrients in it. That means we have to build it up ourselves. The good thing is that we can turn this lifeless soil into a rich, living garden bed by adding organic matter, beneficial microbes, earthworms, and natural nitrogen sources. And the best part is, we can do all that in just a few days. First method. First, we need to make space in our garden bed so we can add all the good materials. To do that, we simply remove the top layer of our loamy soil. You don't have to go too deep, just a few inches to create room. Set this soil aside because we're going to use it again soon. Now, take a look at the crop you see in the video. This is a cover crop that was planted earlier before we decided to turn this land into a vegetable garden. Cover crops are used to protect soil and prevent weeds, but now that we're starting our bed, we need to remove it. But we're not throwing it away. What we do is pull out the crop and tear it up with our hands into small pieces. This helps it break down faster. Once you've torn it up, spread it all across the bed. This green material will decompose in the soil and become a great source of nitrogen. As it breaks down, it will also attract helpful microbes and earthworms, which will improve soil health and structure. Now, we take that same loamy soil that we removed earlier and cover the torn cover crop completely. This will help trap moisture and heat, both of which are needed to break down the green material quickly. Once you've covered everything, level the soil with your hand or a tool. Don't press too hard. Just make sure the surface is flat and neat. Now it's time to sprinkle some neem cake on top of the soil. Neem cake is a natural fertilizer and pest repellent made from the leftover neem seeds after oil extraction. It's full of organic nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But the real beauty of neem cake is that it protects the soil from harmful pests and insects without hurting beneficial insects or earthworms. It also controls soil-borne fungi and diseases, and even stops the growth of unwanted nematodes in the soil. It's like medicine for the soil that also feeds your plants. A little goes a long way, just sprinkle it lightly all across the bed. Next, we're going to add a layer of vermicompost on top. Vermicompost is compost made with the help of earthworms. It is one of the best soil amendments you can use. It contains not only nutrients, but also lots of good microbes that help plants absorb food easily. It also improves the soil's texture and structure, helping it to retain water while still draining well. Vermicompost also encourages earthworms to live in your bed, and when earthworms are active in your soil, they keep it aerated, break down organic matter, and improve root health. When you add vermicompost, you're basically bringing your soil to life. You can spread about one or two inches of vermicompost across the surface of the bed. Once everything is in place, it's time to water the bed properly. Give it a good, deep watering. This will help all the materials settle down and begin the process of decomposition and blending with the soil. Water activates the neem cake, starts breaking down the green crop, and gives life to the microbes in the vermicompost. If you have dry conditions, you may need to water again the next day. Keeping the soil moist, but not soggy, in the beginning is very important. It speeds up the process and helps microbes multiply. It also makes it easier for earthworms to move around and do their work. After watering, you don't have to do anything for a few days. Just let nature do its job. In about a week, your bed will start to look different. It'll feel more alive, with a soft texture and a darker color. 
That's a sign that your soil is improving. If you want, you can cover the bed with some mulch, like dry leaves or grass to retain moisture and prevent weed growth. In just a few days, we've turned poor, nutrientless loamy soil into a living, healthy garden bed full of life and energy. We didn't use any chemicals or expensive materials. Everything we used, green crop, neem cake, and vermicompost, is natural and safe for the environment. And the result will be fresh vegetables, happy plants, and rich harvest for many seasons to come. If you liked this method and want more tips like this, don't forget to visit our channel where we share videos about organic gardening, natural fertilizers, sprays, and so much more. And if you want to support our work, please like, share, and subscribe. Second method. We are using charcoal. Charcoal is commonly known for its use in grilling or burning food, but it has much greater potential when applied correctly in gardening. When used properly, charcoal can retain nutrients and moisture for extended periods and provide a habitat for numerous beneficial microorganisms. However, before charcoal can be effectively used in the garden, it must be transformed into biochar. Biochar is charcoal that has been enriched with microbes and nutrients, making it an activated form that enhances soil health over many years. Unlike compost or fertilizers that decompose quickly, biochar remains in the soil and continues to deliver benefits. The process of making biochar begins with obtaining plain charcoal, which can come from a firewood stove or any natural source free from chemicals or lighter fluids. This charcoal should be crushed into very small pieces, ideally powdered, because smaller particles have a larger surface area to hold nutrients and microbes. Powdered charcoal mixes more easily with soil and offers more space for microbial colonization. Next, the charcoal needs to absorb nutrients. For this, collect various garden weeds, which might appear useless but are rich in nutrients. Chop these weeds into small pieces to speed up their breakdown. Combine the crushed charcoal and chopped weeds in a large container or bucket. This mixture serves as the nutrient base and food source for the microbes. To introduce beneficial microbes, add some garden soil that is rich in life, such as soil from under trees, compost piles, or near healthy plants. Only a few handfuls are necessary. This soil contains the microbes required to activate the charcoal. Afterward, add non-chlorinated water to the container because chlorine in tap water can kill beneficial microbes. Rainwater is ideal, or tap water can be left to sit for 24 hours to allow chlorine to dissipate. Add enough water to cover the mixture completely and stir thoroughly to ensure even distribution. Cover the container loosely to allow air circulation while preventing pests from entering. Let this mixture sit for at least seven days. During this period, the microbes multiply and spread throughout the mixture, colonizing the tiny pores in the charcoal pieces. Simultaneously, the weeds break down and release nutrients, which the charcoal absorbs. After a week, the mixture will contain nutrient-rich liquid and activated charcoal pieces, officially turning the charcoal into biochar. Biochar can be used in two effective ways. The first is to prepare garden beds at the start of the growing season. Begin by watering the garden bed thoroughly because dry soil will absorb moisture from the biochar and harm the microbes if added directly. After watering, spread the biochar mixture onto the garden bed and mix it lightly into the topsoil. This enriches the soil significantly, as biochar retains nutrients and the microbes encourage stronger plant growth. Over time, biochar continues to improve soil quality year after year. This activated charcoal form is a sustainable gardening tool that holds nutrients and water, supports beneficial microbes, and enhances soil fertility for a long duration, unlike traditional fertilizers that break down quickly. By converting charcoal into biochar and applying it properly, gardeners can boost soil health, improve plant resilience, and maintain productive gardens sustainably for many seasons.